It's Claire from Handmade at Hudson's.co.uk and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And if you look at my blog, you'll notice that I've updated the gallery with cards which I've made using this stamp set and also the Starlight Thinlet. So this is the Starlight stamp set. It's absolutely gorgeous. It makes some very pretty stamps, which I've been playing with with some gorgeous sentiments and also the gut dyes go together as well. So if you look in the link below, you will find my uh, link to the talk through of the set and also um, what goes with what. So these are my examples. So my first example is quite simple. It's cherry cobbler with some copper foil. And I've used one of the doilies, the pearlized doilies behind and just stuck that down. And then I've cut out the die and added that on. And then I've just done a simple strip of Merry Christmas. And I think that looks quite cute, though I'm not sure whether I might add a pearl or not, or whether it needs a bit bling. Um, but I'm not really a blingy person, so I'm not sure. So that's example one. So example two, I sort of case up Pinterest, sort of didn't. So this is actually the metallic card so um they come in a pack and they are metallic on the outside and also have metallic on the envelopes and they are gorgeous and they're so quick and easy and you don't have to cut up your foil so you can use your foil for fun things like adding the gorgeous things rather than for layers and i know that sometimes we all cut out the middle of the foil so you get a cannibalized card um i don't think that's quite the right word but um it's still really really pretty and then i've added a little frosted drop in the center and i have used um pacific point and mint macaron on this card although i'm not sure whether the light shows that but that is absolutely gorgeous and then I have been casing Pinterest again. So um, we have got Knight of Navy, Silver and then Grey Granite. And we've got the um, basic rhinestones, although they're not really basic. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got the May Your Season Be Peaceful, Your New Year Be Bright. And we've got stars and constellations. And I think that's gorgeous. And again, we've got silver foil here. I love the foil. It's definitely something that we or anybody needs for Christmas cards or um, adding a bit of bing to cards. So um, if you watch the video which shows you um, the stamp set and dies, this is what I meant about pop-up. So this is Knight of Navy and um, Gold. Now, um, this is Case from Pinterest. I'm sorry, I can't remember who created it, but um, I really love this layout. Really simple. Um, this will be going to um, probably my grandma who will appreciate it. So um, what I have done is cut this in gold and then um, folded it to pop up and then I've got loads of little dimensionals underneath to pop up to the centre. So if you look, it's popped. And then I've stuck it down with mini glue dots. And then I've just added it onto a nice navy layer and I think that looks really rather cute. So my next card is pin is from Pinterest again. Um, so I have used Night of Navy and I have Heat Embossed in White. Then I've used some vellum and Heat Embossed on that vellum. And um, again, I've used the white um, embossing powder. Then I've added a strip of gold foil behind um, and used Star of Wonder, Star of Night. And I've stuck those down with dimensionals. Um, and I was debating about different shapes, which is why it's a bit of an odd one, because I decided to just go quite normal. And I think that's quite cute. So to get these um, quite similarly, um, similar distance apart, I put both of them on a larger block rather than using two smaller blocks. So there we go. So then on this one, I have... Um, been looking on Pinterest and also a few years ago my very talented upline I'm sorry it's bent a little bit that's the only problem with sometimes these cards and I should have corrected them before I started filming um, 
my very talented upline gave us um, some worksheets for cards to make using this set. So I have sort of used those worksheets, but I've changed the ribbon because obviously ribbons change over time. So this is Clipso Coral and it's ombre ribbon and I think it's really rather cute. And I've gone for Clipso Coral underneath, I've gone for gold and white and I have used the corrugated bottom folds of the hind. And I think that's really rather sweet. And it's a really simple layout, really quite quick to do. You can whack them out really quickly <laughs> um, if you want a card which you need lots of before for Christmas. This is my next one. And again, this is a case from Pinterest. Um, I have used Bermuda Bay and Pacific Point. Um, I've used Little Christmas Spirit Brightens All the World. And I've used the white embossing folder sorry, embossing powder again, and then um, used a sponge door, but to sponge over it using Bermuda Bay. And I think that looks really rather cute too. Um, again, some people might add a bling. Um, I'm not a really blingy, blingy person. Um, so we've got a really simple one. Again, case from Pinterest with different colours. So I've done this in Night and Navy and Mint Macron. So these stars are Mint Macaron and then these ones are Night and Navy. And I have just added a very simple Merry Christmas. And I have just flagged using scissors. Although um, if you want a larger Merry Christmas, you could use the triple banner punch. And again, um, it might look good with bling. Um, I will have to get some out. In fact, it's quite amusing actually because I have got bling. Um, I've actually got lots of bling, including these pearl basic jewels. Just haven't quite got onto the cards. Um, so this did have bling and this was fallen off. <laughs> so this is um Blackberry Bliss um with grey granite, Merry Christmas, and it did have the jewels on, but I'm not sure where it's gone. I think it had one there and there. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous, and I love this um star. It is gorgeous and I think you could use it as a cross as well as a star if you wanted to. And I thought I had another card but then I realised it's a random one I made for me just go. So yeah, these are the cards that I've made using the Star of Light and the um, Starlight Framelits. Um, if you've got any questions or if you would like to see how to make any of them or um, any comments, please let me know. Uh, my contact details are in the link below. Thank you very much for pressing play on the video today. Um, I hope this inspires you to go and create some cards of your own and add lots of bling. See you later. Bye.